It's a beehive, all right. I wonder what happens when you just hit it. That what that's what happens. Hey guys, welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolve. Let's play Yoitsuljin. And it has been a few days since I did an actual video. Most of my content has been streaming, which I've been having a ton of fun with, but I don't know what you guys have not caught up on or which I'll have. This is my little kitchen that I set up. It's kind of like an outdoor setup to my house. I do have a little bit of lighting going on in here with the torch. <laughs> that kind of looks funny, but for the most part, it's a simple little setup. Some place that I can cook my dyes as well as um, my my recipes. I started doing soup so that I can get some underwater stuff going on. I'd really like to go the soups route and stuff uh, before I really go like the tech route. So I'm gonna try to do everything that I can primitively. I've, I've been building up quite a collection of veggies and stuff uh, so that we can get stews and, and soups and I've gotten some Lazarus chowder so that we can actually have some underwater stuff and possibly tame something underwater as well. Um, but that's not what we're gonna be doing today. I just thought I would show you around a little bit of my estate because I wanna get a boar today or a pig. Last stream, I got bacon bits. He is a very, very low-level pig. Very low-level pig. <laughs> but um, for the most part, their stats are awesome, man. This is this is pretty much vanilla stats. I've only put a few levels into him. He was really low-level to start with. But health is 4,000. Uh, food, which is actually a pretty important stat, is 6,200. Uh, melee is 150, and movement is 150. They can jump, y'all. They can jump, and they have this awesome active healing ability and you can also change a passive healing ability when you're not on them um, which is absolutely wonderful and they're omnivores so they eat either berries or fruit um, which is it's just lovely and I named him bacon bits because he was so small there was so many <laughs> so many good names mentioned in the chat yesterday it was ridiculous but I really want to get a high level one today and and mess around with those so um, yesterday was full of fails I think I was kind of in a rush to go uh, to bed at a reasonable time and uh, I'm not blaming it on that I have no excuse but I failed miserably but other than that the state's coming along real good I don't know what you haven't seen but I did my workshop. I have almost all of the crafting materials and, and tables uh, set aside in here. Did need to pick up some trank darts. This is new. I added this mod recently so I can start using herbivores more actively. Um, and that's to make dino med kits, which kind of it, it heals them for 2,500 health. Um, which is which is really really good over 30 seconds for an herbivore. That's awesome. I know they have like the Vitaberry mod that seemed a little bit. Um, too out of whack. I think this is pretty good. It actually takes a little while to craft these, and they have a spall timer on them. Um, uh, but they do come with some great stuff too. Like this, this mod pack has bandages, which are made from like azul berries and a little bit of fiber. Um, really, really good. Um, so I've been using those uh, quite actively. But let me grab some trank darts, and what I think I'm gonna do is head on out. I did make some. I've been kind of trying to make sure that I have all of the goods that I need to do some stuff. Yeah, I got a hundred of them made. Um, how much gunpowder do I have left? Gun. 1187. I did make quite a bit of stuff, which is which is really, really good. So, what I want to do, I'm going to grab my bird out there, and on the stream, everybody was suggesting that I put together a little, um, um, like a little winter base. Um, a hunting outpost, so to speak, and I really need to do that. So, uh, I did when I was doing screenshots early I moved a lot of stuff but I'm bringing some foundations pretty much enough for a three by three little setup equipped with ceilings and and uh, already had the ceilings on me I got a smithy I got a fireplace we're gonna be ready to go so I'm gonna get out there and hopefully um, get to build a little settlement with you guys on camera then we're gonna go hog hunting so here's something interesting that was part of the update that I haven't checked out yet. <laughs> I just ran across one on my way to the winter biome. I wonder... It's a beehive, all right. I wonder what happens when you just hit it. That what That's what happens. Ha! <laughs> I got bees. Wild giant bees, huh? 
Yep, wild giant bees. Okay, let's get a little bit further out. Go up and hit him. There we go. Two giant bees gone. All right. And what do these guys give? I don't even know where they went now. Dang it, Bobby. There is... Is that the queen or something? Nope, that's just a giant bee. Oh, and they knock you off, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> that ain't good. They knock you off your mount? Wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful with that. That's pretty rough. Um... I mean, I do have flak on, though, right? Hold on. Let me whistle passive. I might regret this. <laughs> Hold on. Do I have a sleeping bag? <laughs> do I have a sleeping bag? I can make one right quick. Let me make two. <laughs> Before I try this, this is going to be stupid. I know it. <laughs> you guys are probably screaming at the comments right now. No, don't do it. Actually, <laughs> y'all look kind of bloodthirsty. You'll probably want me to do it. All right. This is going to be far enough, I think. We'll do one more. All right. Place. We'll place this much further down just in case. There we go. Okay. All right. Um, Scouty, you stay. You stay right here, Scouty. I want to check out this beehive, man. You stay in, Scouty? Wait. Okay. You know what? What the hell is that? There's an Anklo stuck. <laughs> a made boosted Anklo stuck in there. Okay, let me put my helmet on too. Let me put my helmet on. I don't have much helmet left either. It has 5,000 HP left. Wow, look at the bees. There's a lot. Oh my god, there goes my flag. Damn! All right. Um. All right. You know what? Screw it. Get him, Scouty. Did I get him? Scouty got him, I guess. I get. Look at the bees. All right. Did they wreck me? Not really. But what did they break? <laughs> they broke my pants. <laughs> now I look ridiculous. All right. I do want to see what these guys give. I imagine they give chitin. Uh, they don't give chitin. Well, that's interesting. I guess they did that so you can't really, like, abuse farming them. Huh. Yeah, you can't even interact with them, and they decompose after a little while. So, what does the beehive have? Is that the queen? Or is that a dead bee? Huh. And the hive still has 5,000. Well, that's pretty interesting. I imagine that you have to attack that and you can tame a queen. I know you can tame a queen, but I think you have to break the nest. I don't think an Argent is a good animal for that. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. Um, I'll tell you what, though. It's not... I think I'm going to mark this spot. Uh, where are we, actually? We are... At 2766, you can say. Let me just mark that. 27, uh, 2766. Beehive. I don't know if it's two words or one, but it's all good. All right. Now we have a beehive marked on our map. <laughs> and uh, there we go. Look at this, you guys. There's a 76 they done in there that just attacked a Rex and a Rhino. I don't think it's going to survive, but they are so strong, man. Like, that's unbelievable, huh? Oh, look, there's another one. This is a good spawn area for them. I see two of them. That's a 12 trash. What level is that one? Uh, didn't I see a white one? Oh, there it is. 
I just come out of my telescope range. 72. Ooh. Okay. This is probably a good area. So where I'm at right now is I am kind of below the middle mountain, right east of that river. Um, I went all the way to the river and it's it was so hard to tame there yesterday that I just decided to look around a little bit more and this is the place that I came up with. So I think this will be a good spot to do this. If I could survive long enough to place down some stuff. <laughs> look at these guys. Is that a wolf? I mean, I know that's a wolf. That's a boar. Do the wolves and the boars attack each other? No, it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like it. And this thing is passively healing and I can't see him. But my scope... 64, 76. Wow. Two decent sizes. I'm seeing they're not level 100 plus. That's pretty damn big. That is pretty damn big. I'd like to see how the stats compare to my other one. We might find a perfect one one day or whatever. Right now, let's see. I need it. Uh, oh, this thing is going to give me some trouble. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let me just take care of him. Alright. Where were we? Where were we? So what I think I'll do is I'm just going to lie down. I'm going to make a little trap first. Okay? That's where I'm going to put him. And this is gonna be our house, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and add stuff to it later. Uh, so let's see what I'll need here. Uh, we'll need some frames first, or what do you, what do you call these foundations? Um, I tell you what, no, that's not what I want to do. Let me go ahead and just set them down here. Pick up. Pick up. Alright. Let's just set them down really quickly. I'm going to make it 3 by 3. Perfect. Alrighty. Now we'll set a door. I don't know why I got so many doors. Oh, maybe I was thinking that I was going to, um, where'd that last, what? Where'd the last one go? Y'all saw me place it, right? Uh, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> I know I had a foundation right there. Uh, I just disappeared. All right. <laughs> I guess we're uh, making another foundation right quick. That's weird, huh? I think all we need is like 80. There we go. Ouch. Passive. Come on, Scouty. Come here, Scouty. That was a wolf. Thankfully it wasn't a boar. Thankfully it wasn't a boar. Alright. Alright, there we go. Now, let's go ahead. I've been needing a little bit more weight on my buddy here. Alright. Where are the boars? There's one of them. And the reason I don't just bring them to wherever for long trips is that they kind of attack you. That's a level 16. We don't need this one. Let's go ahead and kill it if we can. Maybe this will give us some good XP. They are hardy, man. A level 16. And I'm hitting the shit out of this thing. Gah. Alright. He's dead. Where were the big ones? It was a level 76 and a 72. There is, that's a wolf. Ah, there we go. Let me 
me take a look. 76. All right. You're coming in first. Uh-huh. He tried to nab me. You saw that? This is going to hurt a little bit. Look at him smiling. He knows he's about to start snouting me. All right. Um, I didn't nearly get that right. <laughs> Not even close, man. <laughs> He's trying to get out that hole. <laughs> He's trying to get out that hole. Damn. All right. I don't know where the 72 and the white one was. This one was the higher level out of the two, even though the other one was better looking. I guess it doesn't matter. Alrighty. Now, let's see here. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a couple more of these. Alrighty. And what I'll do... Yeah, he's biting my shit. It doesn't matter, though. Uh, and now... I'm going to just set a little work area here. I should set it out a little bit bigger. There we go. Just This is just temporary until I get it all figured out. There we go. And right, and we should be okay with this. Um, this will keep me safe. Yeah. All right. Now we just got to be careful for scouting. Okay. Let's start a shooting. Um, yeah, I'll do it with Trank Dorts. Even though Trank Dorts are more expensive, I want to see how many it takes. Look at this. <laughs> Damn, Daydon came. Make sure that... Um, my buddy's okay out there and doesn't leave. There we go. We got it down. All right. What's going on out here? Son of a gun hurts. I'm glad I made this little shelter, man. Gah. All right. So supposedly these things, because they heal, they lose food fast. So let's just try it with Prime. Um... Scouty, come here. Give me your food. I know. That'll get you some more later, okay? So let's see how this works. Without taming sedative. 5.2 at a time. Wow. I'm gonna need much more meat than that. Much more. God. I didn't realize that. Wow. They need a lot of meat to tame. And look, that's 100% taming effectiveness, though. Okay, so I'll tell you what. We do still have some prime on it. I'm going to go grab some more prime. Then I'll use some taming sedatives on it. Uh, they don't give prime meat, do they? Yeah, I figured they didn't. I figured they didn't. We're in the right place, though. So this should not be bad. Uh, let's see. There's a woolly mammoth right there. Hopefully this guy isn't too high level. He needs a kill, though. And some good XP for scouting. Seventeen, that ought to do it, actually. That ought to do it. Alright, and I do have some taming sedative on me. Which will make this a lot easier. Alright. Oh, uh, what did I do? I didn't grab it. 
Yeah, hold on. <laughs> hold on, man. Okay, grab all of this other meat out of here. Well, we'll put five just in case. All right, so let's go ahead and make it eat twice. This should probably do it, is what I'm thinking. It looks like they still have 250 points to go. That means they're going to eat three more times. Oh, yeah. It's a she, too. <laughs> oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. One more bite. It's prob. It's... Yeah, I don't want to use another taming sedative. It's actually eating really, really quick. All right, you guys, we got him. So that's about, I would say, for a level 76, I would, it, it takes roughly in the neighborhood of 25 to 30 darts, I guess, depending on where you hit him. And, thank you for the poop, and about 15 prime meat. So, yeah, not that bad, not that bad at all. Um, all right, so stats compared to my other one, 3,400 health. Seven no eight thousand food okay melee is two twenty five and one thirty I really wish I would have kept the other one base but I can always check the stream for footage too um, I'm gonna I'm gonna flesh out this base a little bit more later on I think this is a good spot though in general we've got like there was rexes over here there was mammoths wolves and there is a spawn point for yellow and red drops because I got a red drop earlier here let's see what we got and a water jar wah, wah. early I did get a spino saddle though um, let's see yeah there it is right there baby ramshackle huh. 37.7 armor which is not that bad um, much better than a regular saddle but I haven't seen any high level spinos yet there was one up the river to the west but it was only a level 12 so i'm gonna go ahead and grab my new piggy we're gonna get home name it and check him out all right folks we're back we got him back and i think i know what her name is gonna be since <laughs> last night i had so many good suggestions on stream this was one that i loved pull pork <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to keep it Mrs. Pulled Pork. And she is going to be the wife of Bacon Bits, which is much less powerful. <laughs> so let's take a look. So right now, I added quite a bit of health, right? Um, 4,051, and it's still got levels to go. Let's see what we get per level here. Uh, that did not update. <laughs> there we go. 36.04. Alright. Let's do it again. 37.89. And this will be... 39.74. Alright. Uh, now let's see if I can heal him really quickly. I'm going to get that aura out. Yep, yeah. <laughs> that went by pretty quick. The healing with these guys are amazing, and since they're mate boosted, this may be some pretty fun stuff. Well, they were mate boosted before. Why wouldn't they be mate boosted? Male, female. I don't know. Maybe it's just not showing because of the auras or whatever. Anyway, I did have to do something. Uh, I had to spawn in a saddle blueprint because um, the saddle blueprint is... I'll show you. There's a bug right now. The saddle Ingram is in your inventory, but it says can only be crafted at Smithy. And you can see right here, there is no... This is the this is the blueprint. This is my actual blueprint. So, <laughs> yeah. This is this is not an Ingram in the... in. Uh, it's not a recipe in the Smithy. And it's not because it's an S plus Smithy. I tried both. <laughs> I tried both. I tried um, the S plus Smithy. I tried the regular Smithy. I tried the Beaver's um, the Beaver's saddle. So we'll go to Sham. D 
D-A-E. Yep, nothing. See? So, I looked it up. Apparently, a bunch of people are having a problem. I guess it's just a mix-up in the update or whatever. But, at any rate, I, uh, I spawned in a, uh, a, a, a deal for the saddle. I just looked it up on the wiki. So, uh, let's see. And there we go. Uh, the recipe requirements aren't really high. 290 hide, 155 fiber, 20 metal ingots. Has to be made in the smithy. And you can't craft it even though you have the right ingredients in your, um, in your own inventory. I already tried it. Alright, so there we are, you guys. Uh, let's add another point to health. 39, 74. And let's see, 4158. Not bad. So altogether, I mean, they are they are pretty damn amazing. You can sprint with them. They have this attack, which is kind of like a bite attack. If you right click, it starts consuming extra food and putting off this healing aura. Look at the the way the that those structures for the bushes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so weird. That's so weird. There's some glitchy stuff going on with graphics. Um, and they're they're really damn powerful, man. Let's go and I'll show you. So this is let's see what level. This is at 92. All right, this is gonna be a pretty good fight. We're gonna do it anyway, though. I'll show you how this this works, guys. So far, not too bad. Health is still really, really high. All right, killed it. Um, 39, 96. Look how fast we regenerate health, man. And I'm not even doing active healing. Active healing is much faster. Uh, I love the fact that they can jump too. I mean, they can't really like leap, but they can do some pretty amazing stuff. Like I really like them as mounts. Um, the way they handle themselves in the wild too, pretty crazy. But I think we're gonna really, really work on uh, getting this thing tanky and strong. And um, I'm gonna play with them a lot on live stream or her a lot on live stream and see what kind of stuff I can accomplish. Uh, being that it's a relatively small mount too, it's not really fast. But it's a good, I mean, it's a good strong mount. Like, I would not be afraid to take this thing out and move it around a little bit. Um, move around with it a little bit um, and explore the island. So, I don't know, maybe I'll do that. There's a couple of uh, really, really high level, um, well, there's one for sure. Allos, yeah, that's it. I don't know why I couldn't think of it, but Allosaurus. And there's a couple of really, really high level uh, well, one really high level aloe that I saw, like a 116 on one of the mountains. So the next time I stream, I'm probably going to go look for it. I don't know if I'll be able to find it specifically, but I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, but that's going to be it, you guys. I got pulled pork and I got bacon bits. And um, we are going to uh, we're gonna play around with these on stream and stuff. If you guys haven't been catching the streams, I go live on Twitch. I've been streaming almost every day. Uh, usually start anywhere around the neighborhood of 5 p.m. Central. I always alert everyone in Discord. And I always upload a video saying it. So if you hit the bell on my YouTube channel, my main YouTube channel, or you uh, follow me on Twitch, you can make sure they get notifications. If you come into my Discord, it's discord.gg slash Zuljan. Uh, it's a public Discord. I have an announcements channel that always announces when I go live uh, as well. And I've been uploading the VODs to my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Zuljan TV. So you guys can check out all the VODs that you may have missed up until this far. We've been having a lot of fun on here. And um, I'm going to keep it going. I'm enjoying myself a lot with Orc Survival Evolved again. I never thought I would say that again because I had gotten so tired of the game for a little while. But last but not least, I'd really like to um, to, to play around with this. Um, I'm going to right click. So for some reason, I have not been able to keep my hair length. Uh, maybe you guys know what's up. But when I trim my hair, I trim my hair kind of short like this. And I'll bring my facial hair down to almost what looks like a regular beard. That's what I've been going with. And I accept it. Okay? And you can see my hair is cut. So I don't know if it'll be like this later on after a few days pass or what. 
Um, I'm not really sure why it keeps resetting. I mean, I know hair grows, but I thought it would change for good after this. I'm not really sure why. If I have to keep cutting my hair, I guess I don't mind. Um, but at any rate, you guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.